right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week I'm gonna show you how to create a quick and dirty wireframe rendering for your 3D models without having to UV map your model. You don't have to use Sketch and Tune. You don't have to use Atom Array. This is just a texture technique and you can pretty much do it in any rendering engine. So if you're interested in getting this look I have right here, let's hop on in. Okay, so once again, this tutorial I'm making came out of a need for me to do this and being frustrated at all the techniques there are out there. I don't wanna use cell shaders. I don't wanna use sketch and tune. I don't wanna use an atom array. I just want a really clean, easy way to do this and bake it into the output of my render. I'm making this banner right here for the body basics pack that's coming out this Monday. Um, it's 10 total models. It's all these different types of characters with really, really nice uh, geometry on them. So they're bases you can use um, to create any type of character you want. And I want to show off that geometry up in this banner instead of just the white wireframes. And so the way you do this is I have my banner setup file right here. I have my texture up here on the individual characters. I'm going to crack these open. And one thing to note about this technique is it does use the texture, but it doesn't really work that well if you have subdivision surfaces on it. So in this instance, I'm going to stamp the subdivision surfaces down to get the level of kind of complex geometry that I want. Um, you know, if I uncheck these, I could do wireframes like this, but I want my render to be a little more smooth. So I'm going to go to my subdivision surface and just knock down the subdivision render view and subdivision viewport view to one and then stamp it down. Same thing for this other one. So this is kind of the geometry level that I'm wanting to show off on these 3D models. Our 3D models do come UV mapped, but for this instance, I've decided to not do that and kind of maintain this super bad, messy UV map to show you that you really don't need to UV map your object to get these nice flow of geometry lines. And so what I'm gonna do though with the UV map is I'm going to select our UV map. I'm going to go over to the polys, hit control all. So I select all these polys and I'm gonna go over to this UV commands tab and just go down to max UV. And what that tells the UV map is every single polygon on this character's body, make it fit the width of this shape. So whatever texture is in here is gonna be repeated on every single one of these polys. So I'm going to go over to the girl, do that as well. Max UV. So there we go. That is what you need to do to set up your UV maps. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna crack open our texture. I'm gonna open up the material editor. And all I'm gonna do is in the diffuse section, I'm going to drop down this little tab, go over to C4D Octane, and I'm going to choose a mix texture. And then inside of that mix texture, I'm going to add an RGB spectrum. And then again, in this other one, I'm going to add another RGB spectrum. I'm going to go into one of these and change it to black. Go back up. And then in this little amount zone, I'm going to go and click on texture. And right now it just puts this float texture in, but what I actually want to do is go and add a C4D gradient. And then in this common tab, I want to make sure my C4D shader resolution is set a little bit higher because C4D shaders are treated like raster images inside of Octane. So I'm going to set it up to about 2048 by 2048. Depending on how high you set that, it might slow down your render times, but it should be okay. Um, then I'm gonna go back in, go to my gradient. And what we want, again, since each of these individual polys takes up that whole UV map, we want to change this to outline the individual polys. And so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over to type, go down to box, and then we're going to drag this line up to kind of create this hard white edge going on here. And basically what this shader does is it says, okay, here's a black and white gradient and whatever colors, you know, represent the white and black, we're going to pump these two colors in. So that way you could do this with different colors if you want to do so. I'm just going to keep it white and black for now to show you how this works. So I'm going to start up my Octane live render. And you can see we already have all of those lines working and it took no time whatsoever. Now you'll see it's a little bit light. And so 
that's where you know you're going to want to go in and mess with this a little bit your gradient kind of the fatness of the stroke you can change by sliding this making it harder or not you can invert the textures like this so let's say about there and then the reason I set up those other RGB spectrums is basically wherever there's black lines, you technically could use this RGB spectrum to color it differently. Just in case, you know, you want a certain texture in there. So let's say I want kind of this purple color. I'm going to color pick that. And now I have the purple lines in there. And so I really think this is a quick, easy way to get a wireframe render without going through all the hassle of having to UV map your object or set up any type of sketch and tune, anything like that. Hope that helps, that's pretty much it. It was a quick one, but now I can use this on my banner on my website. And once again, on thehappytoolbox.com, we're going to be releasing this Body Basics pack on Monday. It's got a lot of amazing geometry. And you have all these different styles of bodies uh, to create whatever character your heart desires. If you would like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help me out a ton. We're gonna keep putting videos out. We took a little bit of hiatus. We are working actually on rebranding everything. This is our new little Happy Toolbox logo. RIP to the old one, but we're really happy with how this turned out. All right, I'll catch you next time.